Writers and actors to motivators, chefs, and even rappers to up and comings with the it factor. It's the Jesse K. Ward coming at ya. Welcome to Jazzy After Dark. I'm so excited to be here with you. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. Again, we're live. We're streaming right here live on Facebook, as well as KWARD Radio. You see? WKRWDB, WKRRadio.com. Make sure you go and subscribe. Uh, put in your email address for that. We're on Periscope. We're on YouTube. Twitter, also in Twitch. So go ahead and start those watch parties. I'm super excited to have, a, I call him an international megastar guitarist is our special guest tonight. That's uh, Gregory Goodlow is our special guest tonight right here on Artist Talk. And uh, let me show you a snippet of what you're in store for right here on Jazzy After Dark. <laughs> over here jamming to uh, Gregory Goodlow, and I'm, I'm super excited to have him as my special guest right here on Artist Talk. So we have this up close and personal conversation, hey, about this guy's incredible career. 
and like what's happening with him right now. So let's give him a big, a lot of love, a lot of thumbs up, a lot of hearts, and welcome international recording artist, Mr. Gregory Goodlow. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, what's up, my brother Greg? How are you? Hey, brother Jazzy K Ward. How are you, man? It's, it's great. I'm feeling great. I'm having a great time here in the Mount High City, Denver, Colorado. Right. It's such a, such a beautiful state there. It is, man. I love it. I love the mountains, the change of the weather. We get all the seasons. Kind of yeah. reminds me of when I was in Germany, also. Okay. You know, uh, fluctuation of the seasons. So it's great. Yeah. And we're talking about it. Do you do a lot of hiking? No. <laughs> <laughs> I lead the hiking to the professionals. <laughs> to the pro professional. Maybe I watch too much TV. You know, I see it like beautiful. Denver is like absolutely beautiful. But I've been thinking about like bobcats and wild animals out there in the mountains. I was like, hey, they're out here. Out here. Do you also raccoons in the city? We had, uh, some foxes in the back. <laughs> I took some pictures of a deer last week crossing the street. Really? Wow. Yeah. You know, we, we we're don't... a populated city, and it's, they still come out. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, just just send us a little snow here to Alabama, but not too much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys, it might shut down the whole city if you guys see some snow. Uh, of course. That's exactly what happens, my brother. We could get like an inch of snow. And that's it. Everything yeah. shut down. Yeah. Where, where do those lightning bugs go uh, in Alabama when it snows? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, well Gregory, I'm, I'm super excited to have you here as my special guest on Artist Talk. And I just want to know, brother, you know, how have you been doing with the pandemic and all? You know, so how are you holding up as well as your family? Uh, we're holding up pretty fine. You know, we're we're faith believe in family. So okay. we know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. So we know that nothing, I, I know that nothing really happens without it being a reason and God's in control. So we've been kind of handling it in, in faith, you know, but still doing works. We wear our mask. We try not to go out too much. I, I did a show last week. Okay. And, you know, it's hard for musicians because they want to interact with the, the people. At least I do. Right. So it's really not a, too conducive for me to play out much now. Okay. And then the spike has risen. So I'm kind of going to go back in my cubby hole. Right. But what I've been doing is I've been working on recording and getting music ready for uh, my next coming uh, LP. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about that. But yeah, you know, with this this pandemic, you know, if you think about it, Greg, you know, I think this may be a, around for quite some time. Yeah, uh, I believe you. I'm, I'm the same as you. I kind of think it might be the new norm. I know people are, I, I want to be optimistic, but people are kind of wishing that it would go away. Uh, it's so new. It's so different that we don't know what's ahead. So all I can say is it might be the new norm. It might be the new norm. Yeah, so just taking it back a, a little bit, Gregory, maybe to some of your, your younger years, you know, at, at a very young age, you know, I, I heard you, you, you've you always wanted to be a, a musician. Is that true? Yeah, that's, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're all uh, equipped when we come on this planet with, with desires and uh, things that we are gifted with are we have to develop those gifts once they're instilled inside of you. Uh, yeah, I've always wanted to be a musician since I was, since I can't remember. I remember being a little boy and my cousin had this guitar and it was so big for me. I couldn't mm -hmm. even barely pick it up. I used to sit it on my lap and strum it mm -hmm. sit and drop the pick and spend the whole day trying to get the pick out of the hole. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I saw that 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 guitar. You know, it's like, man, I would love to have one. You know, I know you. You know, you, you're this famous guitar. So, you know, if, when you ever want to exchange those, just 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 let a brother know. Just sign it, and, and hey, maybe you can send me one. <laughs> hey, 
when that day comes, when I get like George Benson, like George right. Benson has an uh, endorsement with IBNS. He gets right. his finest guitars, man. He he told me a story of where he gave uh, Prince a guitar. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. I was asking him, I was like, uh, I hope he doesn't mind me telling this little story. I, I was blessed to be able to spend some time with, with George on a few occasions. But uh, I was asking him, man, I said, you know, when you, because he left Warner Brothers, George Benson left Warner Brothers and went a brief term to Paisley Park Records. And I was right. like, man, how did how did you work with Press? And he, he was saying that, no, I, I basically, the question that I really asked him was, mm -hmm. if Prince got, uh, it seemed like he got a whole lot better once you came on his record label. Mm -hmm. and I said, did you teach him some stuff? He said, no, all I did was give him a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Prince must have took that George Benson guitar and was practicing all, because after that, he, he did a, a show. I think he was being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay, and he had Eric Clapton up there, he, and a few other guitar players. Man, and he like sweep the stage off with those guys. And he's not really known as a super guitar player, Prince, right. as far as Eric Clapton and those other guys were concerned. But he, man, right. he swept those to me. He swept them up under the rug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, wow, that that that's a good. Thanks for sharing that story. Did you ever get the opportunity to meet Prince or play on the same stage with? Oh, I wish I could have. Yeah. I probably would have learned so much from just being around him, not even have to speak to him because he has he had that kind of presence, man. He had that that it, you know. And if you could yeah. just be around those people that have that that like it factor, and right. if it rub off a little bit on you, I mean you're doing good. <laughs> yeah, you're doing. <laughs> I mean, where I mean you're I mean, you're awesome yourself, Gregor. You know, for, from someone like me on the outside looking in, I mean, I see no imperfections, but I'm sure you're a perfectionist in your own craft and things that we may not notice. You're like, mm, but I, I, I put you right up there as well with a George Benson. Well, I appreciate that. And, uh, I, you know, practicing perfection is a, is a downfall for some musicians, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Jackson was a perfectionist, man. And right. I don't know, I guess it's instilled in us to try to be the best that we can when we're trying to uh, perform or deliver our gift before people. And then there's so many other people that we look at that right. I, that we think are just super fantastic. And we want to make sure that we represent our instrument, our, our talent or what we're doing at the highest level that we can and sometimes that's good and sometimes it's bad yeah yeah sometimes i, I think it probably can hurt us in some form or fashion yeah and, you know when you mention that um you know i read something about you I, if, if you could share a little bit uh how you when you first got into music so also you were into the saxophone and i read your grandfather also played the guitar right uh yeah what happened is uh my mom told me this story. My grandfather mm -hmm. on her side, he played the guitar. And then uh, he he comes from a preacher's side. Of the, she's got on the mother's side, the preacher's side of the family, I mm -hmm. think, uh, uh, played the guitar. And then on my dad's side, uh, he played the guitar and the saxophone. Okay. Yeah, that's where that comes from. That's where that comes from. And, and also your, faint, your uncle. The famous blues yeah. singer, Vernon Garrett. Vern, Vernon Garrett. I got a chance to hang out and meet him for the first time years ago. And okay. yeah. Oh, that's that's amazing. And I know with you being a, a army vet, I mean, did you did you ever play for those guys as well? Were you in the army? In the in the army, I was kind of I I wasn't really serious about music, but I, I played on the weekends. I would go we had a music room uh, in Germany that I used to uh, play at. Matter of fact, I, f I just came across some old tapes. Uh, it's when they had cassette. I don't want to tell how old I am. <laughs> we had cassette tapes, and I found some cassette tapes with mm -hmm. me playing in Germany. 
Then when I was stationed in uh, the military district of Washington, D.C., you know, they had music rooms for us. So, yeah, we were, I was able to play, but not, I never did any shows for them because I was still okay. not deciding if I was ever going to be an uh, uh, out front musician. Okay. So, uh, Greg, it, has music always been your first love? If you could never do music again, what, what would Gregory Goodlow be doing? I think Gregory Goodlow would be running from, uh, being a preacher or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or Gregory Goodlow. The, the, the thing that I would probably most like to do is something that involved the martial arts. The martial Okay. You know, so, I see that. I can see that. If Yeah, because I, I kind of started, I did martial arts when I was in 14 years old. Okay. So it kind of instilled in me. So if I wasn't able to play music, I'm pretty sure it would be some form of uh, teaching some arts, uh, yeah. getting more involved into the uh, the martial art aspect. A martial arts, yeah. And I also uh, read that you also received a, a music scholarship. To, is it Paul Quinn College? Yeah, it was called it was called uh, Bishop College at the time. At the time. Yes, they changed the name later on. It's in Dallas, Texas. Okay. Uh, Bishop College. Yeah, Paul Quinn. Paul yeah. Quinn. Oh, wow. Well, well, I was blessed in high school, man. I played in the marching band, playing the, I used to play the big bass drum in marching band and concert mm -hmm. band. I played the snare drum. Okay. And uh, my other classes were, I had a music class and then I had a jazz class. So most of my high school, I, I had like five, I stayed in the music room, I had like five classes. And then uh, the music teacher there, he was so great, Mr. Jack Bailey. He blessed me and uh, helped me get a music scholarship down there. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And again, for all of those who are just joining us, my special guest tonight, is uh, international recording artist, guitarist, Mr. Gregory Goodlow is our special guest here on Artist Talk. Again, if you have it, please go ahead and share the video, start the live. We appreciate those hearts, the thumbs up. We're broadcasting again, as you can see here, WKRWDB. Make sure you go to KWARDradio.com uh, and subscribe your email address. Uh, the new station is coming, and I'm just super excited to have Gregory Goodlow, and he is going to perform for us. So we're super excited about that. So, Gregory, if you could tell us our, what you're going to perform for us tonight. Uh, I'm going to perform my number one hit that went number one on billboards. It also went number one on uh, media-based adult contemporary jazz charts. It also went number one on Alan Kepler's Smooth Jazz. So it slotted in three number one places. The song was written by uh, Darren Ron and produced by Mr. Darren Ron. And uh, it's done so well, man, this, this song. Uh, I haven't practiced it much since, I, uh, made, since we made it, since we recorded it. But even on Spotify, it's almost up to three million streams. That that that's amazing. So I'm I'm super excited about hearing it, my friend Greg. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to a, a commercial break, and we're gonna have Gregory Goodlow right after this. We'll be right back. A live one-on-one -on -one conversation. Thirty minutes of pure entertainment. With musicians, writers, and actors To motivate us, chefs, and even rappers To up and comings with the it factor It's the Jesse K. War coming at ya Hey guys, this is Jazzy K. Ward And... If you don't, you need to get your KWARD radio mask. And if you don't have one, shame on you. Mm -hmm. Well, you can still get them. They're only $15, $5 for shipping. I have a special mask. 
black and the pink, as you can see here. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Those are $25 for shipping. And a proceed of your support goes to Breast Cancer Awareness. Hey, this is Jazzy K. Warsman. Thank you so much for your support. See you soon. Jazzy K. Hey guys, this is Jazzy K. Ward, and I'm so excited to tell you about this new show called Feature Fridays. Mm -hmm. It's about musicians, writers, actors, anybody that has that it factor, showcasing their new music, new projects, and you're going to have it right here with Jazzy K. Ward. I hope to see you there. Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Jazz After Dark Artist Talk. A special guest is international uh, recording artist, guitarist Gregory Goodlow, right now, who's about to uh, put on an awesome performance. So we're super <laughs> excited about him playing one of his, his number one hit, Styling, right here on Artist Talk. So we're ready whenever you are, Mr. Goodlow. Let me cue it up here. Okay. Here we go.
That was slamming. Thank you so much. That was trying to get that West Montgomery feel, you know? Right. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. Again, that was international recording artist, guitarist Gregory Goodlow. That was your number one hit simply titled Styling. So who did you write that with? Uh Darren Ron. Uh I mean, we in the studio. Fantastic, Darren's a fantastic, multi-talented musician as well as producer and writer. Right. So, yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you have any plans of working with Darren on future projects, anything? Oh yeah, sure. I'm hoping to get together with him, you know, hopefully for this new project. For the new project. So I, I know you work closely with Bob Baldwin. Any other producers or artists that you would like to, uh, collaborate with great and i i would really like to collaborate with all the stars that i grew up listening to oh wow i i reached out to i see i'm i'm a, I'm a person that would just do anything i will reach out i reached out to like larry dunn from okay. earth when Fire, the keyboard player right i will reach out to anybody who i think that i can envision myself collaborating with uh i even uh what's his name uh the rapper okay. uh 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 he was with snoop dogg i hadn't sent him a a message uh because uh he writes he's a great producer i'm trying to i, I can't think of his name off the top but he writes a lot of music and he's doing a lot of stuff right now on tv but what folks don't know about him is he's a smooth he writes jazz okay i wish i knew who you were who you were uh, referring to i'm i'm gonna think q uh not q-tip right no not q-tip um, okay um I, I i think i know who you're talking about now i'm i'm gonna think of his name in a minute i don't know why i can't think of his name why i got a brain freeze but okay. i even reached out to him because his ability he's more than what we get to see Okay. You know, other, other people just see him as a gangster rapper, but this guy is a really talented producer and musician. I know exactly who you're talking about because there was a, a show on BET and you know how they do those, you know, what happened to these artists. I remember him being on a show and they were talking about, you know, him writing for, you know, jazz artists. And I never could imagine that, but Again, I had a brain freeze as well. Yeah, it's, it's so it's so many artists and so many people that we don't normally get to see them in their in another element. You know, I would even like to hang out with Jermaine Dupri. I okay. like to hang out with uh, it, it varies so much. Jonathan Butler, you know, the producers that produce for you know George Benson, you know, and, and some of the new newer guys. You know, uh, Adam Holly, yeah, uh, great producer man, and uh, Greg Manning, those guys. You know, uh, those kind of just rubbing shoulders with those kind of super producers and up and coming producers because these guys are going to be uh, forming what we now listen to and taking it to a higher level. Higher level. Yeah, I would. I would love to even reach back, you know, to grab somebody. You know, one of my favorite guitar players, uh, he plays for uh, Chic. He was a Chic's guitar player. Uh, anyway, producing something with him would be awesome. Uh, his, his latest song, he uh, produced with that, that, what, that punk? 
Daft Punk, okay. and mm-hmm. he ended up just coming from nowhere. He was uh, now Rogers. He came right. from being an old school player to in the mainstream. And what pe- mm-hmm. also people don't recognize is George Benson. George mm-hmm. Benson has a new song out that people never heard, and it's on a cartoon video with some other guy that wrote it and produced it, but it's, okay. George is just playing on it, and it put him into a whole brand new audience. Oh, wow. You know, new new uh, people like who are 15, 18, 21 mm-hmm. years old that have got a chance to hear George Benson. So right. there's so, a lot of, lot of people, man, out there. Yeah. So Gregory, and let, let our viewers know where they can also purchase uh, your music and where they can go download it. Okay, first I want to say uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, uh, support uh, and fight, continue to fight for breast cancer. I'm wearing a shirt right now and support of them. But you can find me, my music on Spotify. You could download and stream Gregory Goodlow music. You can find me on Amazon Music, uh, mm-hmm. Apple Music, CD Baby, all the main uh, Deezer, uh, all the main streaming outlets and uh, that sort. Or you can contact me on www.gregorygoodlow.com. You can visit me on my LinkedIn page. You can okay. visit me on my uh, Facebook page, uh, my Twitter page, my IG, Instagram, and I just now got on TikTok. <laughs> just got on TikTok. <laughs> I better learn how to keep up, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, we have, we all have to keep up with this new pandemic, and you know things going virtual. So that's going to be like like our new norm. And uh, I, I definitely want Gregory Goodlow. You know, Jazzy K Ward is. I'm working on a Christmas special, and I would love for you to be part of that. Man, I would, I, right now, and I thank you for the invitation, mm-hmm. and I accept right now. All right. I will be there as long as you send me the information, and mm-hmm. it would be an honor, man, to uh, be in your Christmas celebration. Yeah. So, and I know you have a, n- a number, another smashing hit with Bob Baldwin, cool like that. People, you, you know, go download that too. Go to GregoryGoodlow.com. Any future plans before I let you go of uh, doing anything else with Bob? Man, uh, man, Bob is such a fantastic and innovative guy, man. He's just, he's uh, he's like the godfather of me in music. Uh, he's, he's what I believe that represents the true form of jazz. But okay. yet he still plays smooth jazz, and uh, talked to him uh, a few days ago. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna do something. Okay, well, I'm, I'm super excited about that. Again, everyone, please go to GregoryGoodlow.com. Support this brother. Uh, music is is simply amazing, and I just want to say thank you again for coming on Jazzy After Dark Artist Talk. Uh, we look forward. Uh, to more great music from Gregory Goodlow. Thank you, and God bless you, brother, and I appreciate the opportunity. You're so so welcome. And uh, don't go anywhere. Again, thank you so much, Gregory. We're going to play another smashing uh, hit from uh, international recording artist Gregory uh, Goodlow before we, before we leave. But thank you so much, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, wow. What a great conversation with Gregory Goodlow. But again, don't forget to go to GregoryGoodlow.com and purchase his new music. And as you can see right here, WKRW, you know, WKRW, DB. (laughs) Make sure you go to KWRDRadio.com. Please subscribe, your email address. Don't forget, you know, we're still in a pandemic. And I know a lot of people say, well, I have a lot of mass and that's okay. You don't have a KWARD radio mass. Right. They're only fifteen dollars. I still have those breast cancer awareness masks. If you still want to get that and support that and some of the proceeds will go to breast cancer awareness. And for all those who have purchased theirs, thank you so much. Again, I was super excited for your support. Uh, Please don't forget to share the video as well. And we're going to leave you tonight uh, with the great sounds of international recording artist uh, Gregory Goodlow. And I'll see you next time 
on Jazzy After Dark on Artist Talk. And don't forget not only to take care of yourself, but be kind to one another. Good night.
We're musicians, writers, and actors To motivate us, chefs, and even rappers To up and comings with the it factor It's the Jesse K. Ward coming at you